Yardbook Tutorial for Beginners. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital and welcome to this video on how to use Yardbook. Yardbook is a free cloud-based software that helps small business owners manage their landscaping business more efficiently. This platform offers a variety of features such as scheduling, invoicing, estimating, and time tracking. It also allows users to manage customer profiles, track expenses and payments, and generate reports for better business insights. In this tutorial, we will discuss the basics of Yardbook and how to get started with using this incredible platform. We will show you how to create an account and provide an overview of the features and functionalities of Yardbook. We will also demonstrate how to add a customer and create a new job in Yardbook. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Yardbook, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description. So go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct homepage. Once you're on the homepage, navigate to the top right side of the screen and click on the Sign Up Free option. This will direct you to the registration page. Here, you'll be asked to provide your email address and choose a strong password. After entering these details, click on the Register button to move forward in the process. Up next is setting up your account. This involves providing more detailed information, including your full name, your business name, contact information, and address details, like city, state, zip code, and phone number. Once you've filled in all the necessary information, hit the Save button. This action finalizes your registration and takes you to your account dashboard. The Yardbook dashboard is the center of your business operations. It neatly displays all the vital information relevant to your landscaping business. On the left side of the dashboard, you'll find a menu with various tabs, each designated for a specific function. At the top, there are key options like Settings, Landscaping Calculator, and To-Do List. Below these are the main tabs of the left menu. The Dashboard tab gives you an at-a-glance view of the last 30 days of your business activities. It shows newly added customers, estimates, invoices, and payments received. The Customers tab lets you manage your customer profiles, track their projects, and maintain a record of their invoices and payments. The Jobs tab is where you can manage all your landscaping tasks. You can add new jobs, track ongoing ones, and archive completed jobs. In the Estimates tab, you can create and manage detailed cost estimates for potential or existing jobs. This feature allows you to accurately forecast expenses and allocate resources more efficiently. Moving on to the Invoices tab, you will find a comprehensive suite of tools to generate, send, and track invoices for services rendered. With this functionality, you can streamline your billing process and ensure timely payment for your hard work and dedication. The Chemicals tab is designed to help you maintain a comprehensive record of all the chemicals used in your operations. This feature ensures that you remain compliant with safety regulations and guidelines, promoting a safe and secure working environment. On the other hand, the Equipment tab provides you with a centralized platform to effectively manage your tools and machines. This includes tracking their usage, scheduling maintenance, and optimizing their performance to maximize productivity. Finally, the Sitemap tab provides a bird's eye view of your entire Yardbook setup, helping you navigate the platform more efficiently. In addition to the left menu, the top right corner of the dashboard contains a few more important features. The Quick Add button allows you to quickly add a customer, job, task, visit, estimate, invoice, payment, expense, and more. The Profile section contains personal and business settings. Here, you can manage your catalog, employees, crews, and user profile. If you understand these dashboard features, you can more efficiently manage your landscaping business through Yardbook. Now, let's see how to add customers in Yardbook. Adding customers to Yardbook is crucial as it allows you to manage and track their projects, invoices, and payments. The Customers tab in the left menu of the Yardbook dashboard is the place where all the customer-related activities take place. To add customers, click on the Customers tab. This action will take you to the Customers page, which displays a list of existing customers if any have been added before. To add a new customer, locate and click on the plus add button positioned on the left side of the page. You will then be redirected to a new customer form that requires certain details. The first two fields are first and last name. This is where you input the customer's full name, providing a personal touch and helping you identify the individual in your records. The next field is email, which is optional. Including the customer's email address can facilitate easier communication, 
especially when it comes to sending invoices or project updates. Next is the phone field, also optional. Filling this can be beneficial for quick, direct contact with the customer for urgent matters or clarifications. The business name field is useful if you are dealing with a business entity instead of an individual. Providing the business name can help you manage your B2B customers more efficiently. The prospect field is to note whether this person is a potential customer or a confirmed one. This can help you prioritize your tasks and manage your time effectively. The billing address section requires the customer's address details. It includes fields like address, city, and zip code. If you prefer not to manually fill these fields, you can use the search box under billing address to automatically fill out the fields. Upon filling in all the necessary fields, click on the Save button located at the top left side to save the new customer's details. This completes the process of adding a new customer in Yardbook. Next, let's see how to add a new job in Yardbook. Adding new jobs in Yardbook is an essential function as it organizes and tracks all your landscaping tasks. Managing these tasks effectively leads to a more streamlined operation, increased productivity, and improved customer satisfaction. To begin the process of adding a new job, locate the Jobs tab in the left menu of the Yardbook dashboard. Clicking on this tab will take you to the Jobs page, where you can view any existing jobs that you have previously added. On this page, to initiate the addition of a new job, click on the Plus Job option located at the top left side of the page. You will then be redirected to a new form dedicated to job creation. This form requires certain details to better manage and track each task. The first field is Description. Here, you should provide a concise yet comprehensive description of the job. This helps in identifying the task and keeps it distinguishable from other jobs. Next is the Property Address field. This field should contain the location where the job will be conducted. It assists in scheduling and logistics. The Schedule field is for setting the timing of the job. Here, you can set whether the job is reoccurring or a one-off event. You will also need to provide the start date and start time of the job. Proper scheduling ensures that tasks are executed in an organized and timely manner. The Product and Services section is where you list the resources that will be utilized on the job. This can include anything from equipment to manpower to materials. By noting this, you can better prepare and allocate these resources. Once all the required information has been filled out, the final step is to click on the Save button. This action will save the job and add it to your list of tasks. And there you have it a beginner's guide to using Yardbook. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that, thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching, and take